Hello, my dear friends. The question on the board has to do with calculus. And we have been asked to differentiate 3x squared minus x plus 5 with respect to x from first principles approach. The approach we expected to apply or use has been defined as the first principles, okay? So what do we need to do here? So first of all, write solution. We write solution. And then express the question given as false as y is equal to 3x squared minus x plus 5. All right. Now differentiation here simply means if there is a slight change in the variable y, there will also be a corresponding slight change in the variable x, wherever x appears. That is what it means. And that is exactly what we are going to do at this moment. So let's, without wasting time, see how this plays out. Okay. If there is a change in y, so that change can be stated as y is more change in y, okay? Will equally lead to a small change in x, wherever x appears. It has been done here, then it's going to be done here. Small change in x, wherever x appears. But there won't be any change in what? In, in 5, because 5 is a constant and does not contain any x variable. So we don't need to bother ourselves with that. It's clear. And the next thing is, we maintain this, this small change in y is also going to be maintained throughout. And we look at it here, we open the bracket because squared means that this bracket appears twice. Okay? So we have x, the x, the first bracket, the second bracket, or parenthesis, so to say, x, the x again, to imply this, right? Okay, then we maintain minus x plus dx, and then plus 5. That's all. The next step is to open these two parentheses. We open the two parentheses and see what we have inside. So we have y, we keep maintaining the difference or change in y as it is. Here we open the two brackets, we open now by simplifying or simplification. x multiply x will give us uh, x squared, x multiply the x, we give uh, the x, we give x the x, and the same thing here, x the x, okay? So what is remaining at this point is the x and the x. If they multiply each other, right? We are going to have the x squared in brackets or in parentheses. Then we have the remaining one, okay? We have minus x plus dx and then 5. We now open this. We have opened this now, okay? So this minus is going to affect this minus is going to affect this as minus, not plus, okay? So we have opened it. It's clear now, right? Then the next step is to, we try to collect light terms here and multiply by what? By 3. So we continue to maintain small difference in y, okay? Here we have uh, x squared. This plus this is going to give uh, 2x dx, right? And then we are left with, um, and the remaining one is uh, dx squared. Bracket close once again because we are going to use 3 to multiply uh, every term in the parentheses, okay? Then we have uh, minus x minus dx plus. Five. All right. 
The next step is to multiply three. Okay? The, uh, the times in the bracket with three. We multiply with three. So y dx. So we have three times x squared is going to give a three x squared. Then three times two x dx is going to give a six x dx, right? And then three multiplying this is going to give plus three dx squared. And then we maintain the remaining ones the way they are. That is minus x minus dx plus 5. All right. Quickly, we move on again. What do we do? What do we do now? Because of this, y is there, right? We, how do we now remove y? So that the y becomes the subject of all these things we are discussing now. We multiply, we subtract from both sides. Y, okay? So, subtracting, sub, subtracting from both sides. Subtracting Y from both sides. Okay? Yields, let's see what it's going to yield. Yields, so let's see. So, we're going to have Y plus y minus y for we are now we have subtracted y from the left hand side this is the left hand side we are going to subtract y okay we still maintain all our terms the way they are without changing any of them okay minus dx plus 5 we need to subtract y from this side as well that's the right hand side minus y. So we have obeyed this simple instruction. We have obeyed it. So what do we do next? We cancel out we are necessary and see what is going to remain after our cancellation. It's very simple. So this positive y will be taken care of by this negative y. And we are left with the y. What next? So we have from there, I think it's all over. We have the y is equal to okay? 3x squared minus 6x dx plus 3 bracket open the x bracket plus the s squared, right? And then minus x minus dx plus 5 and finally minus y. What an interesting expression. Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Quite interesting. We are going to take it from there. If we, we recall, we recall, absolutely, we recall that y has been given as 3x squared minus x plus 5. Because of the presence of y here. So we recall that. It then means the y is equal to 3 x squared minus 6x dx, okay, plus, plus 3, bracket open the x, bracket close the uh, squared, right? And we have minus x minus the x, minus x, that's from here, okay? Look at it. Alright? And then we have again minus the x. Minus the x, that is this, all right? Plus, plus five, okay? And that is what you're seeing. And finally, minus y, okay? Minus y. Very, very interesting, right? So we're going to substitute the value of y. The value of the y. Y has been given as this. That's our next step now. dy is equal to 3x squared minus 6x dx plus 3 dx squared minus x minus dx, right? Plus 5, okay? All right. Plus 5 minus brackets. 3x 
slave minus x plus 5 bracket close. The question is why? Why should I do this in bracket? It's simply because of the presence of minus. Because minus is going to affect every term in the bracket. And then the result will show in the next step. So let's see how it's going to be. We still maintain the y is equal to 3x squared minus 6x dx plus 3 dx squared minus x minus dx, okay? Okay, we're making progress. Plus 5. Now, pay attention closely now. You see, minus x multiply this will give us minus 3x squared. Multiply this will give plus x and finally will give you uh, minus 5. You can see, that is the essence of putting the whole terms within a bracket or in a bracket. That is it. Now, what do we do next? We need to cancel out. We are necessary now. This is positive. So this will be taken care of by this. The two fizzle out. The next one, this will be taken care of by this. The two fizzle out again. And then we have plus five. We'll be taken care of by minus five. And it goes just that way. Oh my goodness, mathematics is quite interesting. It makes you think, it makes you reason. The next thing is uh, you have uh, the y is equal to what is remaining. Sorry, this is plus, not minus. This is plus. From the beginning, it's been plus. All right? Look at it. Look at it. From the beginning, it's plus, not minus, please. It has been corrected now. So we have. 6x dx, right? Plus 3 dx squared, right? And what is remaining again? Minus dx, minus dx. All right. <laughs> Quite interesting. All right, so what do we do next? We consider this. Let's consider this first of all. If we consider that we have uh, the y is equal to 6x dx, right? Plus Three, this becomes the x dot the x right minus the x. Okay. If we divide through by the x, dividing through, dividing through by the x. So let's what happen. If we do that, we're gonna have y all over the x, 6x, the x all over the y, this x, sorry, the y all over the x is equal to 6x the x over dx, right? And then we arrive at uh, 3, the x, the x all over the x, and finally minus the x all over the x. So what do we arrive at now? And we have, this remains, we have the x, the y over dx, right, is equal to um, 6x, right, this is 1, that is 6x, remember this will go, I want you to know that this will go, and become 1, this will become 1, okay, 1 or 2, 1 multiply this 6x, 1 multiply this will give us um, plus 3, the x will remain and this is minus one because this becomes one okay just one all right okay so let's see okay that is it under this condition we have arrived at this we have arrived at that but what if what if suppose suppose um the x Tends to zero. What happens? That's another question. It becomes. Um, it means that the the y over dx is equal to six x minus one. Okay, because three x 
will become what? Zero. All right? That's the limiting value of this. Okay? The limiting value. When, suppose the x tends to zero. That's the limiting value, okay? The limiting, the limiting value. Okay? That happens here. The final answer is this. If the x tends to zero, the final answer becomes the y, the x is equal to 6x minus 1. But if the x does not tend to zero, the final answer remains 6x plus 3, the x minus 1. That's all. Solved. Hello, my dear friends. It's been awesome to be with you. I urge you once again to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Levi Kingsley. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Reddit, Likey. You can as well like us on our Facebook page. You will see many more of these come your way. Thank you.